Hey Inns, how are you doing today? It is, I think it's Saturday. It's Saturday, uh, September, uh, September's the ninth month of the year. It is September, I was gonna say it's the ninth of September. No, it's 9-4, it's September 4th, 2021. Hope you're all doing well. I am, it is uh, Saturday evening here and I thought I'd sit down and uh, take a little chat with you all. I am, uh, it is Labor Day weekend. Happy Labor Day if you are um, in the United States or a person who celebrates Labor Day. I hope you are able to enjoy the weekend and uh, celebrate however you celebrate. I want to first thank all of you who uh, have reached out and asked if I am well. This past, uh, if you are... Um, in the United States or um, following the news uh, and you, uh, you, you've you been with me for a while and you know that I am in New Jersey. Uh, New Jersey was hit pretty hard with Hurricane Ida last week. And yes, I am in the area that was hit very hard with Hurricane uh, uh, Ida. Uh, luckily I am, um, the area directly where I live was, um, was spared from the, the, the worst of it, but, uh, just a few miles in either direction from me, um, there's, uh, some pretty bad devastation. So, uh, I, I, first off, I want to thank any of you who have reached out to me. Uh, thank you for your your thoughts and your prayers. If if you uh, for those of you who who provided that, um, uh, you know, please con con continue to keep those who have been affected by the tornadoes and the uh, the flooding that is occurring or has occurred um, in in your thoughts about the the first uh, so. Hurricane Ida came through on Wednesday of this last week, uh, which what I believe it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday. So Wednesday, September 1st, I was at work that day. It was an in-service day for school. And I had left about left work around 445. And uh, I was hoping to get home just before the storms really started to uh, hit the area. I did get uh, stuck in a little bit of traffic on the way home in some rain, but I got home about 5.30 and just in time for the storms to really take shape in my area. The storms were already uh, starting to affect uh, the suburbs of Philadelphia in the Pennsylvania side. But um, shortly after, right around six o'clock, I think I was on the phone with my mom and uh, I, I got the warning on my phone, the, the really loud, obnoxious take cover warning on your phone because there's a tornado coming. Uh, and I was surprised by that. I, was, I knew we had a tornado watch until 10 p.m. that night. And so I did immediately jump and run to my bathroom, but then I turned on the, the, the local news and I was watching to see where the tornado was take, uh, taking route. And it, it, it apparently, um, it started about 12 miles south of me in the Mullica Hill area. And um, it stayed on the ground for about two hours, or at least as far as I know, about two hours. And spread from South Jersey all the way up through Central Jersey into, and I'm not sure where it went from there. So luckily for me, it, it stayed uh, a little just just west of me uh, towards the Philadelphia area, but I was in the cone of, of p possible trajectory, but I was not in the cone of, of the uh, of the actual tornado. So I it was it was kind of scary as far as what the, what was happening with the storm. But um, after the storm, after the tornadoes, the went through then there was uh, the massive devastation of flooding which we're still de st still dealing with i know 
the Philadelphia, um, the Vine Street Expressway, I believe is still underwater or they're just getting the water out of that, that highway. Um, they're pumping it out into the Schuylkill River. There's a lot of flooding. I was just up in Trenton today getting my hair cut and the, the Delaware River is the highest I've ever seen it in the seven years that I've lived here. And I know that the Delaware has a history of flooding, but I've never seen it that high. Um, in, in my uh, history of living here. So it's it was pretty intense. But yes, thank you for uh, your thoughts and your reaching out and taking uh, the, the minute to just see how I was doing. With that, um, uh, moving on, moment, uh, uno momento. Okay, like I said, it is Labor Day weekend. I, I want to make an announcement that um, I have had my PDF patterns in my Etsy store on sale for the last couple of days. Um, I've been meaning to make a video about that, but I just haven't had a chance, mainly because of Hurricane Ida and everything that's been going on. Work has been a little bit busy just because we are ramping up for a new school year. I work all year round. My school is open all year round, but it's just been really busy. So all of my PDF patterns in my Etsy store are 25% off through Labor Day. Uh, so up until I think I have it up, up through Tuesday, you can find all of my PDF digital downloads are 25% off. So that includes my uh, old fashioned series, uh, which have been very popular. There's a, ser a set of, uh, there's three of them. There, it's not a set, there's three individual patterns. There's the windmill, the water tower, and the silo. There's also the stories of the North patterns, which are were a series that I started with Caroline from Off the Grid Needle Arts and Evertotes, uh, and you can find those three in the in the shop as well. There is also the popular patterns from last year, my Christmas ornaments that are the uh, the Christmas the Christmas uh, old fashioned gas lamps. That you can find there's three different ones that you can uh that i designed and then of course all the other uh pdf patterns that i've designed through the years so all of those are on sale in my etsy store through labor day 25 percent off um you don't have to have any coupon code they're already uh the 25 percent off is already taken off um now and it's reflected in the store just go check that out and see what you're interested in and um, that's through I believe Tuesday if not I'm gonna make sure it is through the end of Tuesday Eastern Standard Time uh, United States so go check that out if you are interested let's go ahead and get into uh, my progress so I have only been cross-stitching since uh, we've last chatted with you I have kind of lost the the interest in knitting um uh, so all i've been doing is cross stitching and i've been doing that vigorously so i have had i've been working on three different projects no i'm sorry two different projects i have a third one here that i want to show you that i'm hoping to uh, pull out a little bit this week that i might work on maybe this weekend if not this weekend uh, this coming week I'm hoping to work on. So I'm going to bend down because everything's on the floor here, actually, and then um, we'll go from there. So we're going to go in reverse order because that way then the project that I'm working on for my mom I can show last. That way, if she doesn't want to uh, see it, then she can turn off the video and she doesn't have to feel like she's missing anything. So the, the thing that I'm currently working on, and you're going to feel like it's deja vu because these are the ones that I've been working on in the last video as well. So the current project that I'm working on is Long Dog Samplers, Le Jardin de Plaisir. Did I get that right? I had a, a viewer, and I'm sorry, I don't know your name. I don't remember uh, the name, but uh, I was uh, gave me some advice on how to pronounce the French. So it's Le Jardin de Plaisir. The S is pronounced as a Z, if I'm cor as if I'm doing it correct now. So uh, this is a long dog sampler that I have 
basically changed all of the colors as well as I'm stitching this on a color in cotton 36 count and I don't know the name of the 36 count that I'm stitching this on. But here is my progress to date. So as of the last as of the last time that you saw this, I had finished page one, which was from here up. Well, page one is like here up, but I had finished from like here up. So I went ahead and pulled this back out because I'm really hoping that I can get this finished this year. And uh, because I want to get some finishes done and I want to get some large finishes done this year. So, and I think this is one that if I focus on, it's a fairly easy stitch. It's only three colors and I think I can do it. And I'm sorry, I didn't bring the colors over this time. They're sitting on my couch. But the three DMCs that I changed to, if you want to know the colors that I changed this to, you can go check out my previous video. But the three DMCs, the original colors are actually, um, overdyes and it's a red a black and a gray but i went ahead and changed it to three dmcs and it's a uh, 3865 this is a 38 something and this is a 37 something maybe they're all in the 30, 37, 3800 family. Anyways, I'm going to try not to shake the camera. Here's where I'm at. So I have made it to the bottom of the pattern. Right here's the bottom. So this is page one. This is page four. So top left corner, bottom left corner of the pattern. And uh, here is the center of the pattern right here. So this is this is the center. This is the center, uh, there's four. Basically, it's like a mandala-esque pattern uh, where everything is reflected out from the center. And there we go. And that is what I've gotten done so far. So it's moving pretty quickly. I think I've only worked on this two days. And I was able to do everything from here down, maybe three days. So last night I did all of the white. Uh, last night and this morning I did all of the white. So that's how quickly I can move along on this one. Because it's 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 a it's a really quick pattern once you know the pattern of like these these borders and everything It's super easy to follow and work on. So that is the Le Jardin de Plaisir Long dog sampler. This is my very first long dog sampler I've ever stitched and uh, I think I'll do more I, the next one I want to do I want to do a monochromatic piece one of the massive ones I have an idea of which one I want to do more of that to come at some time in the near future, but distant but near future. All right, now we're gonna go in kind of a wonky order because I wanna show that my mom's piece last just in case she doesn't wanna see it. So the piece that I wanna work on in the near future, I have not put any progress in this. I just wanna show it, this is future plans that I'm hoping I can work on. This week is my, I didn't even bring my picture over. Uno, momento. All right, I feel very scattered people, very scattered. No coffee tonight. I'm trying to uh, drink more water. And it's also seven o'clock at night. And if I drink coffee now, I will be up all night. So this is my heaven and earth designs. I have not worked on this since maybe March. And I'd like to work on this again. So this is artwork by John Bradley. It's Harbor Lights. And this is a massive picturesque 
Harbor. Uh, this is a, and by what I understand, this is a harbor that is in Australia. And somebody had told me what what harbor this is, and now I don't remember. But uh, from a previous video. But here is my progress that I have done so far, just so you have an idea of where I'm starting at, so that hopefully, because I want to pull this out and get some progress on it. Even if it's just a little bit, I'd like to get somewhere soon. I would like to get somewhere. So that is my progress so far. So initially I had started on this doing one page at a time and then I moved to Pattern Keeper. And then with Pattern Keeper, I can go everywhere I want, anytime I want. So uh, then, so this is all one color going across like three pages, two pages. So, and so this, this first page, right here which you can almost see where you can see basically where the page ends is almost done of course like you can see right here this isn't all filled in but then i got pattern keeper and i'm like oh let me just do whatever i want then so i'd like to come in and work on this a little bit more because for having a heaven and earth design compared to whenever i had Hen when i was working on henry i'm not very far seeing that this is my new year new start i think when i had henry having a new year new start i had four or five pages done in my first year of henry and this has like 45 pages i need to get moving on this one so there we go. I need to get moving on this one, among other projects that I have on the go. So maybe it doesn't have that many pages, but it has a lot of pages. This one's bigger than Henry. All right, mom, if you do not want to see the project I'm stitching for you, uh, turn off the video now. You're only going to miss your project and my uh, plant update of the week. And I show you my plants all the time. All right. That should have given mom enough time to get off of, uh, turn off her, or change her video. Okay, so the project I'm stitching for my mom is by the Bay Needle Arts in my father's house. And that is not the correct colors that it should be because I my printer was out of uh, certain colors of ink. So it's very purple. So by the Bay Needle Art in my father's house. This is a stitch along that I'm doing with Donna, Donna Ray from Flannel Jammies Farm. And here is my progress. And the only reason I stopped working on this this week was I ran out of the color green that I needed for the grass. So I had to go to Michael's to get that, which I did on Thursday. So once I finish the page on Long Dog Samplers, I'm probably gonna come back to this because I'm so close to the finish, it's not funny. So here we go. In my father's house. So as you can see, why am I having issues today? In my father's house, Everything I worked on was I did all of the grass. Uh, you can see I did all of the, so all of the sheep are done except for their feet, which are back stitched, long stitched. 
I did these fiddly flowers, which were a lot easier than I thought they were going to be. I did all of the words, which were very easy to do. Took one day. And then, uh, yeah. But that is a lot of grass. So I have to do all of this over here. And then, so once I, like I said, once I have that page done, uh, or once I have that page done on Long Dog, I'm going to come back and work on this and get this bottom half done. So I have the grass to do here. And then I, there is a set of flowers on each side of the grass. So there's a set of flowers here. There's a set of flowers over here. Once I have that done, all I have left are the big trees. Ugh. Are the big trees and the words on top. Not going to take me long at all. So I think I could easily knock on wood. I think that can be a September finish. So, if this can be a September, I'm hoping September finish. October finish. Because if I do, I already have this side, this corner done. This will be done beginning of September, end of September, October. I can't point. Done, almost done, end of September, October. That's my plans. I have some I'm, I'm starting to plan a little bit for later on in the year and uh, it's looking kind of exciting and I need to get some stuff done because I have too many projects on the go right now and it's kind of making me anxious all right so that is what I have on the go right now project wise and it's kind of exciting. I'm, I'm looking forward to having these two projects done and I know it's being kind of monotonously, uh, by monotonous. By notness. By only having, uh, working on these two projects. But I really would like to get these two projects done. Along with maybe just like is throwing in a spattering of a project here, a project there. And then I got to get that red panda done. Let's show you my, uh, my plant of the week. My plant of the week, which is doing extremely ex uh, well. Ooh, what's that? This is my watermelon pepperomia. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I see what that is. Okay. Yeah, we don't need that. My water... Oh, okay. So I guess the, the majority of them are... There we go. Watermelon Pepperomia. Watermelon Pepperomia is a uh, succulent-like plant that... Uh, this one I bought at Walmart. This was my very first Pepperomia I bought and was really excited to find this one. This one is even blooming right now. You can see right, where can I get it to see? That little spike right here is its flower and it's blooming. Right there, I have one bloom on this one. Usually water uh, peperomias have a whole bunch of these at the same time, but this one just has one at the moment. But is this one is uh, this plant is doing exceptionally well. Now you can see how 
I have this one setting right by right beside my sliding door, which is off of the balcony, and the balcony is shaded, so it's not it doesn't get direct light. And so you can see how it, I have to turn the plant so it because as as the plant sits for a while, all the, the leaves start to turn towards or move towards the light. So right now, while I had actually turned it a while ago, this is actually facing up a little bit more than what it normally is. Normally, all so eventually all of these are gonna be all the way over here. And then I'm gonna have to turn it again so that the, they start to move around again. But you can see how the growth, I have small, the, there's small leaves in here that they eventually just get, they can get pretty massive. So, yeah, watermelon peperomia. And I think you can figure out where the name comes from. If you're not sure, uh, we can have a, a class on fruit. But I thought this was a pretty cool plant, so. I don't even like watermelon, but I like this plant. So there you go. I have it in a terracotta pot. And which I even like, I love the, the way that the water, the salt from the water just kind of collects at the bottom there. It's kind of making me messy. That's why I'm doing this one last today because I didn't want to do this and then touch my uh, my projects. So there we go, watermelon, pepperomia. Anywho, I hope you all have a great week. I hope you're having lots of stitching fun, especially since it's a holiday weekend here in the States and maybe even in Canada. So until I see you again, Happy stitching, happy gardening. I know gardening is coming towards an end here in this cut in the northern hemisphere, so get as much out of it as you can while you can. And until I see you again, enjoy every crafting minute that you get and and, and don't forget to always be creative. <laughs>